Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is one of the games that is literally blowing up right now. So in today's video I'm going to see how it plays with the MacBook M1 Pro with 16GB of RAM. So let's see how the performance is. Now to play the game you need two things. You need crossover which is right here, I have it installed. You have 14 day trial in case you didn't purchase it before so you can try it out to see how it works for yourself. And you need another, another application called CC Patcher which is literally in downloads. Now what after you, you know, uh, download crossover all you have to do is just you will have here a button to download you click the download then you drag and drop the application crossover here and then simply you will do the magic and it will run so now let's open the game and here you will see what I mean because you will have some issues and then some of the, some of the part will play fine uh, this one just hit no it's an update that we want to do to our real engine because we don't have windows so it, it won't work now some of the stages on the game will work perfectly and some of the stages we will have some problems and i'm going to show you exactly what i mean uh, we will have some gameplay i'm not going to skip anything on this game so you might have parts when i'm quiet and i don't say nothing but it's only so you guys can see the full performance and how it works so unreal engine so yeah some of the stages you will have some problems with it some of the stages you won't and i'm going to show you guys a couple of examples right now what i mean there is no music on this game at the moment because i turned off the music for copyright issues so just to let you up but the game does have music and everything in the play so this is the menu and how you can see it works perfectly not, not a problem but what i mean by the issues i'm going to go in the training session the training session is only because i can choose whatever stage i want so for example i can choose the stage this is one of the ones that it will work perfectly no problems no issues no nothing now what i'm going to do i'm going to go into training and put everything to max here training session and put everything to max like this you will be the maximum effects on the screen maximum everything so you have an idea i'm going to put him to super strong and uh, and he hit me first so oh my god calm down bro so yeah how you can see the games is really playable and i not a problem nothing you know transforming there's no problem fighting is no problem everything this stage works perfectly but probably because it doesn't have a lot of effects i didn't want to do that but okay Come on, get out of it! Yeah, I'm getting destroyed, but that's not the point of the piece though, so don't judge the gameplay. Literally this stage is perfect. Now let's try a different stage. I know one of the worst stages to play is actually the World Tournament. And this is the best one to show you guys what I mean that some of the stages they are really really bad when it comes to loading. How you can see the performance is already suffering right now. I'm already having lags and everything. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put everything to max. And we're going to see how the performance is. And I can tell you right now it's not going to be the, the best performance. Uh, let's put it to super. How you can see I'm already slowing down. This is the performance that you will have at playing this stage. You know. transforming is going to be you know slow down so the performance on this stage is not the best and there are some stages who play like earlier and then some stages who plays like this one so when you're going to play the story mode you will have some problems mostly because some of the game will some of the stages will run perfectly and some of the stages will run like this how you can see the animation from the kamehameha already finished while i don't even have you know a uh, Kamehameha
let's try it again the animation because I want to show you guys how the how the you know in w when you hit the super you will have a, like an animation of destruction and everything and then you will have an idea how it works hopefully this one will hit again no sound because the sound's already finished all the animation it's How you can see because of the destruction and everything. The more destruction you have, the more you will uh, struggle to load. I'm pretty sure that wall was supposed to, you know, get destroyed, but uh, I didn't have any animation, it just went through it. Well, is this affecting your game? Yes, because you're pressing the button, but it's not kind of registering in time because, you know, it's behind. So yeah, the idea is, this is one of the worst stages you can play in. So, some of the time the game will work perfectly, some of the times it will be like this one. Is it playable? <laughs> Kinda, depending on what you, what you want, it's been like this. How you see playable? Uh, I'm going to continue to play it on the on the MacBook, probably when I want to have some fun and test some more. But yeah, this is the performance on the M1 Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.